After living next to this for more than 20 years, Sharon Doe has had enough and sold her house. I don't have a microwave oven anywhere. <laughs> Just your ordinary oven, your fridge, no dishwasher even because I, I have a minimum of, of machines. The needle can't get any higher. She calls herself electrosensitive and says she feels pain when exposed to signals from electronics and wireless devices. What I feel is difficulty breathing, a pressure on my chest, and the pressure can grow so, so, so that it's really very strong. These types of reactions are becoming more common, according to a group of concerned Canadian doctors. We are seeing blatant disregard for people suffering from uh, symptoms related to uh, Wi-Fi and other wireless technology. Rena Bray is one of 22 physicians who signed an open letter to Health Canada calling for upgraded guidelines around radiation from cell phones, towers and Wi-Fi. Safety Code 6 limits were established before the internet even existed. It is outdated and it failed to keep up with the times. Health Canada is reviewing the standards for how much wireless radiation is safe and is asking for input from the public. As the study continues, the Minister of Health said in a statement, Canada's limits are similar to those of the United States, Australia, the European Union and Japan. That isn't good enough for doctors who say the government needs to be more proactive. Exercising the precautionary principle as opposed to waiting for um, huge epidemics of illness to occur uh, 10 years down the road. In April, a panel of scientists reviewed the current radiation policy and found the guidelines safe. Health Canada will take that report into consideration before releasing their final conclusions this fall. Katie Simpson, CTV News, Ottawa.